Surveillance video shows the moment a train derailed and hit a home in central Pennsylvania. The impact caused an immediate explosion as cars carrying propane and other flammable materials jumped the tracks. That fire is still burning tonight. A one mile radius around the small town of Hindman was evacuated. At least 32 train cars derailed. Ross Gadotti is in Bedford County with the latest. The situation inside Hindman is still a very volatile one in a very real sense. There are freight cars still burning and other freight cars around them with volatile and explosive materials. Meanwhile, the people who lived in the town have been evacuated and everybody is waiting to see what happens next. It had been a quiet morning in Hindman, Pennsylvania. That is until 5 a.m. when a Chicago to New York CSX freighter jumped the track inside Hindman, Pennsylvania. There are approximately 32 rail cars that were involved in the derailment this morning. With sunrise, it was clear to see emergency officials had a serious issue on their hand. Some of the freight cars had ignited. And at this point, there are two cars that are on fire. One contains propane and one contains a product called molten sulfur. Evacuations were immediately ordered. And by mid-afternoon, a one-mile perimeter around Hindman had been set up. I woke up to my daughter smacking on my door, and um, we saw a fireball, and we just knew it was time to go. For now, emergency officials are simply going to sit and wait. Is to let those fires continue to burn until we can make further assessments and develop a plan to get in and deal with the situation. CSX made very clear, this is a very fluid situation, and as for when it's all going to be resolved, they don't know. But when they do finally get to move in, there's an entire row of heavy equipment that will be used to remove these train cars and eventually let the people in Hindman get back to their homes and get on with their lives. In Hindman, Ross Gadotti, KDK TV News. Governor Tom Wolf was in Bedford County to get a firsthand look at the damage, and he says state resources will be available to provide whatever help may be needed. And we're here to, to play uh, whatever supporting role we can play to, to make sure that, that uh, people are safe and, and uh, we will continue to do that. We will do whatever we can and whatever we need to do to help them make sure that the folks here are safe. Inspectors with the National Transportation Safety Board recently arrived in Hydeman. They will determine what caused the crash.